All right, Matt, so pay attention. Today we're not gonna be grilling. Um, instead, what we're gonna be doing is making a Tuscan soup, a Tuscan sausage and cream soup. And it's pretty good. I think you'll enjoy it. What we've got going right now in this Dutch oven is some spicy Italian sausage, some hot Italian sausage that's been removed from the casing. There's about a pound of it in there. And what we're gonna do is just <coughs> Just give this a little bit of a mix up as it cooks. We want it cut into, we want it to end up in smaller cooked chunks. Now you can do this with mild Italian sausage, but if you do it with that, I would recommend putting some red pepper flakes in there just to uh, give it a little bit of kick because when we put the soup together, when we put that soup together, it's going to, uh, it's going to really come out that spice. <clears throat> So about a pound of that in the oven, uh, medium or in the Dutch oven, about medium high heat. We're going to cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes. We'll check back in in just a minute. While our sausage cooks over there in the background, here's some other stuff that you can be preparing. We've got about four or five uh, medium sized potatoes cut up here into slices. And I've just got this rag over them so that they don't turn brown and nasty while they wait. <clears throat> Four or five strips of bacon cut into quarter inch or half inch bits. One white onion diced up into quarter inch bout flakes. And two cloves of garlic minced. So all of that is ready to go in the pot. We're just waiting for our sausage to uh, finish cooking. So let's check back in with that. All right, so the sausage is done cooking. So what we're gonna do now is drain it and set it aside. And we're gonna do that in one foul swoop by doing this right here. We got a pasta strainer. It's built to take the heat. We're just gonna pour this sausage and all of that sausage goo that come out of him. Sausage oil, I guess. We're just gonna pour that right into the pasta strainer just like that. All right. So, <clears throat> Now, we come to the fun part. Uh, we still got our pot hot over medium high heat. And now, it's time for the bacon to make its appearance. And we're just gonna toss him right in. Some of it is reluctant to get in there. I probably would be too if somebody was trying to put me in a hot cast iron, uh, cast iron pan. And we're just gonna make sure that gets mixed up real real well. It's all right if there's some bits of sausage left in there. It's all going in the same stew. Soup, whatever you wanna call it. It's a soup. Anyway, so now we're just gonna let that cook just the same and we'll check back in with him in just a moment. All right, so our bacon is starting to crisp up a bit and you want it kinda crispy before it goes in, uh, before you take it off the, off the stove. Um, we're just going to scoop it out here, leaving a little bit of the bacon grease. We're going to, we're going to pour out some of this bacon grease, but let's get all that bacon out first and put it off to the side. Like I said, you want it a little crispy, but not, not super crispy when it comes off the heat. So we're just going to scoop the rest of that out. Oh, got a stuck one. That's all right. There we go. All right. And now we're going to get rid of some of this grease and we're going to dispose of it responsibly in a jar like we're supposed to so we don't ruin okay. our pipe. Hope you can hear me over the sizzle. With just a little bit of that bacon grease left in that pan and the rest of it safely in our jar here, we're going to cook the onions and the garlic for about another 10 minutes until these onions get nice and translucent, nice and clear for us. And then it's time to start putting it all together and making our soup. And I think that we're going to have to do it in the big pot over here because I'm not sure everything, everybody's going to get in this pot all right. So we'll check back in with these onions when they start to clear up for us. So the onions are ready to go in the pot. And because I just wasn't sure if all of this was going to fit in here together, we're doing it in the big pot. So here we go. <clears throat> We're just gonna scoop them on in there. 
but for the most part, these are done cooking. There's a few that are still a little white, but we're going to bring these uh, this chicken broth to a boil. There's about uh, a little less than 90 ounces of chicken broth in there, which is a little more than what the recipe calls for. It calls for 70, but this is a very meaty potato -y soup. So I like to add a little extra chicken broth because I hate it when my soup runs out of broth before it runs out of fixings. So, let's get all of our onions and garlic together and dive on in with them. Okay, and while we're at it, that bacon can go in too. Perfect. And now we're just gonna let that broth heat up and come to a boil before we add in our potatoes. So we'll check back in in just a few minutes when that is up to boiling. It's a little boil here, and so we're just gonna toss in our potatoes. And uh, we're going to boil these for a few minutes until they become what we call fork tender. And just be careful when you do it so that you don't end up scorching yourself. <clears throat> like I just did. Alright, now they are... Now like I say, they're going to go in there. And we're just going to boil them around for... Oh, I'd say about, about 10 to 20 minutes. About 10 to 20 minutes we'll boil these potatoes. And uh, after that, we will add our sausage and some heavy whipping cream, top it, top it off with a little spinach, and we'll be done. So let's check back in when these potatoes are ready. Okay, so these potatoes and potatoes are about as fork tender as they're going to reasonably get. So here's the next step. We are going to put some heavy cream into this broth. And you want about a cup, according to the recipe, but I added extra chicken broth, so I'm going to do about a cup and a half, which translates to roughly about 12 ounces. So about three quarters of this little uh, pint here. <clears throat> now, when you do this, what you need to do beforehand is reduce your heat to medium, okay? And give this a good stir to dissipate some of that heat. Because if this is if this broth is boiling when that heavy cream hits it, it's gonna curdle and it's gonna ruin the soup. So you gotta be careful of that. So give it a good stir and reduce it to a medium heat before you put the heavy cream in. It's important. Alright. And you what you're and you're also going to continue stirring it while you pour it in. You're not going to pour it in still because that'll also make it curl. So I need two hands in order to do that. So we'll check back in after we have uh, stirred in our heavy cream. Right, so here's what it looks like after that heavy cream is stirred in properly. Gives you this smooth, kind of off-white color. Very pretty, very delicious looking. And now we're going to toss in that sausage that we set aside earlier. It's just gonna go in in one big pile, just like that. Perfect. And then we're just gonna heat it through on a medium low heat. In fact, we can reduce that heat just a little bit more. You're gonna get some of that orange sausage juice kind of floating to the surface, but that's all right. Gives it some character. And then we're just going to let that heat through so that the sausage gets kind of warm. As well as that heavy cream that was kind of cool when it went in. Now, right before you serve it, what you're going to do, and I've already set some aside right here. you got a pile of spinach. You're going to uh, rinse this off good, cut all of the stemmy bits off, 
so that you just get the leafy green bits. And you're going to toss that in right before you serve the soup. And that's going to um, give you this nice bit of greenery in there and give you those extra vitamins and minerals that you don't get from the sausage and the bacon and everything else. So, <clears throat> after you do that, toss that in, just like that. Stir it up and heat it through. And this soup is ready to go into the bowl. Well, it's not a grilling video, but I hope you learned something anyway, Matt, because sometimes it's too cold and rainy to grill, unfortunately. There's just no way around that reality. So heat it through, put it in a bowl, and eat it up. Hope you learned something, Matt. I'll talk to you later.